What's up, boys and girls? Hope you guys are uh, well. Um, uh, I was checking out on uh, LinkedIn. There's a uh, uh, discussion group uh, with music teachers, and uh, I found a, uh, a question from a lady named uh, Kathy Crozier, and uh, she states, I'm a beginner. I've been taking lessons for, for three months, and I was wondering if anybody had suggestions for two issues that I have. Uh, getting my fingers to bend so I don't lay uh, on other strings and number two how to change chords quickly um, um, now um, in the first place to to whenever you fret a note on the guitar you want your finger to be as close to this as possible in other words you don't want your fingers to be like this pushing on the strings you see what I mean so in other words, instead of playing like this, see, that doesn't really work. What you want is this. Notice that my thumb is low, lower on the neck to the top, from the halfway point to the top of the back of the neck, you have your thumb. It should be somewhat facing the headstock, like so. Notice that my wrist is straight. This is strong. There's two things we want to stay away from that a lot of new students will do in the beginning because it's kind of difficult to hold down the strings. A lot of them will do this, which is shortens your, your will drastically shorten your practice time. Another that'll do the same thing is this, like this. This will use no way anybody can practice for a long period of time with their wrist cocked like that. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look comfortable to me. Anyway, uh, um, you want to basically have your hand like this and then you when you if you find your hand is not curved enough you push your knuckles forward like that so then you see I have this nice curved shape to my fingers like this and see how straight they are going into the strings okay don't touch the string above, you don't touch the string below. See? Now, another question that Kathy had was about um, uh, changing chords quickly. Um, I, one thing I always tell my students is uh, say it and play it. This works. I don't know why. I'm, uh, I'm not a neurologist, um, but I do know this, uh, this common sense stuff that works. Um, in other words, you take a chord progression. Um, we will take, um, you know, GDC for instance. Your your new student, um, you should know those chords. Um, you have uh, G, C, D. Notice I said it, then I played it. Most of my students go, oh, I know what you mean, G, C, D. But that's not what I said. What I said was G, C, D that at first it's going to be G C and D like that it's gonna take time but after a while you'll be G C D C G and the reason that works really well is because you're absorbing the information on like five different levels you're saying the chord you're saying the letter G your your mind has to come up with the shape, your fingers have to go to it, press down, and then play. Then your ear hears it, your brain says, oh, that's what a G chord sounds like. So, you're seeing it, you're hearing it, you're saying it, um, it like in, uh, in college they you know say see it, say it, hear it, when you're taking notes. Um, it's really helped me uh, through, and I use it for, if I learn a new song, I'll and if, I, and if I have chords that are new to me and I need to incorporate them, uh, I'll do the same thing. Um, you don't have to do this for a long, long time. But if you did it for a few minutes a day, I think you'd notice a huge improvement in uh, the speed in which you can change chords. Um, which, as soon as you can change chords fast enough, then you can begin playing songs. Uh, the more songs you can play, the more fun this is. Uh, but it's, it's kind of a quick... Um, it's a quick study in changing from chord to chord. Say it and play it. 
try it out. Spend a few uh, uh, hundred reps doing that and uh, see if that doesn't help you out. Have a good time and uh, take care of yourselves and each other. See you.